This is just a brief discussion on how uh, the configurations um, shall be made. Uh, example, in the olden days, if you have to configure your uh, UART in a microcontroller, you have to read through the entire data sheet, reference manual, understand the registers, configure each and every bit of the register and then um, uh, generate uh, uh, the dot c and dot h files relevant to it and then use them uh, in your application code so that's how uh, the olden uh, methods used to be now in the modern day programming the vendors are coming up with uh, um, very useful tools uh, whether it be uh, like selecting a pins uh, from the pin mixing or uh, uh, directly generating a driver code <coughs> without we even bothering about uh, uh, the um, actual registers that are involved uh, in the background. So for microcontrollers this has there have been very good tools that are developed by vendors. Uh, so if you ask any uh, guy who has worked a few years back on microcontroller programming he used to struggle day and night to just initialize or configure uh, the actual system and then write the application code the the vendors have made it so easy as we were discussing um, nowadays it's just use a tool uh, which is already available from the vendor generate the basic code um, so now if you see this is one tool which we wanted to talk which is a system configuration tool from texas instruments uh, um, which can be used to generate the basic uh, driver code so if you see here this tool um, you can see it supports the different families starting from cc uh, to the um, basic microcontrollers, the low power microcontrollers uh, and uh, <clears throat> some of the DSPs. So uh, a very useful uh, tool actually um, and all the vendors like example if you see microchip or any other guy supports uh, uh, the, these kind of tools. Um, so if you see you just need to uh, install your system configurator based on uh, your uh, OS oh yes, whatever you are using so you just need to click here uh, get uh, the OXE downloaded and then start your activity we were not sure why when we were clicking uh, it did not start the installation so just try to um, do open in new tab or uh, and it started actually so I'm not sure why this is happening uh, so now here um, when you open the actual system config uh, this is how uh, the application front end looks like uh, so very simple um, tool uh, very easy to understand and browse through uh, you can already open open an existing design and modify your drivers or uh, choose a new device so if you go here you can just choose a device so in our tutorials we have been more talking on msp432 mm, so let us go to m msp432 p401r and uh, uh, right now we are saying uh, uh, the default part you can select if there is something uh, or the pin configuration whether it is 64 80 or 100 pin so just start the config now it opens up so when you see this window you see that this is um, almost it looks like the same across different vendors uh, so you can select your pins you can configure and then generate the code so the, the left you see here are the interfaces the middle is more on configuration uh, and then the right side uh, is more on uh, the output files that will be generated so for example if we take a UART add UART okay so it generates uh, a, a, the configuration requirements so let us say I add now it just added one uh, UART configuration and then dot C automatically uh, the files sorry um, both dot C if you if you go here uh, the UART um, driver 
is already generated the board relevant driver lib is already generated and then you just need to use this um, and then configure your application code that's uh, uh, simple it is and then when you click here and save file you can save it as per your requirement if if there are some pin muxing options uh, which are required uh, example instead of your uh, one you you wanted to use another you you can select as per your device requirements uh, and similarly you can configure the other interfaces so such a useful tools being developed by vendors these days uh, this is not nothing new there are uh, um, for other vendors as well uh, but uh, at a at a starting level uh, you need not worry about what's happening in the <coughs> microcontroller at a lower level at, at the register level but still the designer has to understand that's for sure but uh, uh, he just need to um see those registers verify with respect to reference manual to see if those bits are configured or not and then and just write your own application code uh, calling those functions or whatever the variables that are being generated out of this and then um, proceed with the application code such a, a useful tool um, and uh, <coughs> if we just go back uh, uh, we can uh, see uh, the different microcontrollers mm, so uh, if you are using any of these micro and even you have a processor em3354 so mm, it even supports uh, uh, processors as well uh, the modern day engineer um, definitely will find this useful so there are two ways here if you are writing a firmware uh, the guys can use uh, the driver library that is already provided that is one step and second step would be uh, if you don't want to use the driver library and you only want to have some peripheral configured by yourself uh, then you can use this tool um, run the software as per your uh, um, uh, run, uh, configure as per your requirements as we have shown here uh, and then uh, select the bits you can you can even select the clock everything all the configuration related to that uh, um, interface uh, can be done here um, and uh, if you play, you can also even uh, switch the part or package whatever if you haven't selected properly at the beginning and uh, continue with the uh, configuration very useful tools um, good to use uh, for engineers and especially who are uh, uh, coming up uh, who doesn't want to read those uh, um, manuals and go through everything and considering the uh, timelines that have got decreased these days uh, um, it is very important that um, <coughs> the designer needs uh, uh, these files and uh, these tools help uh, for the product uh, to come to the market and give a level of confidence to the engineers working around uh, please try this tool and see how it works for you